Okay, good morning. Let's see, we're, we're recording. Yes, um, this is a brief a demonstration of the uh, packet gateway interface that is running at the moment on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, several actually, but this is one that is um, running through a DOS emulator as an interface to the uh, the switch. Now the switch is where all of the important things happen such as the connections to uh, other nodes. It's, it deals with all of the interfacing between modems. You can see one running in the background there. That's the HF uh, sound modem, um, which is controlling a HF radio. And somebody's using at the moment uh, OH3SPN. That's my friend uh, Steve. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so what we're going to do, just to quickly demonstrate, is is connect into uh, the node. Right now we're connected. I'm going to go into the quick chat there and say good morning. You're live on the screen, recording. I see it will take a while for that to get sent to me because it's very slow. Um, there you go, it's, it's going out there. <laughs> Propagation, he, he's at a you know, thousand or so kilometers away and is receiving it by a, a signal directly. So, if you're not familiar with amateur radio, we're sending our own signals, um, not using intermediaries. Now, uh, he's said good morning. Um, that's wonderful. Uh, I'll just uh, say, uh, testing a packet interface and recording it. So be right back. Colon D. Okay, now the, the actual portal thing that we made was is this. Um, for people that have only access to packet radio but don't have access to the internet and one of the guys who reached out to me over packet is uh, exactly like that and that's why I built this one in particular um, an elderly gentleman um, locked in, can't get out no internet access and most of the regulations and rules for the COVID lockdown are now only published online, so very difficult to communicate to those people in that situation. So uh, we've, he's able to log on to his local node in Coventry and uh, through his two metre radio and he's able to access uh, from there, he's able to jump across the channel, uh, the, the actual physical channel, uh, the English channel, the North Sea, straight here and... Um, is able to access this portal, which, as you can see, is showing all of the roughly converted website into text. It's quite crude, but you notice there's numbers next to quite a few words. Well, those are um, link identifiers, and some of them will be the same because they link to the same pages, but each one is a unique uh, link. And if you want to look at where those links actually go, you type L, and it will show you a list of the, the links that tell you how many there are in case you're going to have a lot but um it tells you where they're actually going so you don't go blindly if you don't want to um so page 24 example is about tier 4 covid lockdown information so i do that I, they say today it's going to tier 5 in the uk and i don't see any information about tier 5 on the covid website which is well it's just what do you think? Um, this one's a large page, but the thing is, is that this packet program has a save to file, um, save buffer to file thing. So, all these funny characters, by the way, are just because DOS doesn't support these new, newfangled uh, Unicode things, which would be glyphs for other languages, um, and they're not supported in DOS. So it just shows up as weird characters. <laughs> But the information is still valid. It's still there. You can see it coming through now. 
it's a massive page um and the login for the, the guy um in coventry i should say is coming in at 1200 board so this is showing you at 9k6 9600 board so it's a quarter it's not even it's much slower than this but it's better than nothing so yeah, there you go um and that's that's basically it this is the, the one of the things that i've added to the the packet switch and i've published the code on github as well if people want to add this feature to their node as well um i'll go away um the other things that are available on this node are uh, let's see if we can disconnect disconnect just get rid of it um connect back into the the node have a look at the commands We've got a few other things i've added we've got the tle server now that that cuts um tier two, two line element information straight from celeste track so you don't have to wait for males to come around with the uh, the, the the elements in so if you're an anima amateur astronomer which quite a few radio amateurs are they can get up-to-date tealies directly from the horse's mouth um but that, that's just a minor thing so what else have we got um okay well games during covid i thought well it's pretty limited in entertainment for anybody who's locked in and not got any internet connection and but they have a ham radio and they have a packet connection. So what can I do? Well, I, I thought I'd build a uh, an interface for that through the node as well. And I've added a bunch of uh, Infocom games. And let's have a look what we got. You might recognise some of these if you were playing these in the 80s. Um, Moon Mist is a popular one. Um, some of them are fanfic ones, such as The Quake and... Uh, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and then there's the classics such as Zork 1, 2 and 3. Um, so you just run it in and there we go. Uh, it's cool because you can actually save your progress in this um, restore. Let's see. Uh, saves slash Zork 1, P1. I just gave myself a Okay, now where am I? Yeah, there we go. I didn't get very far in this game, like maybe two screens away from the original menu, but it was just to prove a concept. Um, so that's there, and it has been used, which is lovely. And uh, that's about it, really. A um, couple of things extra. You can uh, the, the plot thing is just a. Um, something i've built or it's for for graphing um with with bpq node which is the underlying switch infrastructure that connects the modems the uh nodes together and the software applications uh, it has an snmp uh, simple network management protocol server and that can be used to get data about the ports um and so you can collect graph data in RRD files using RRD tool and then um, generate actual graphs but th these are ASCII graphs that are plotted so you can check them directly on the node and they're kind of pointless but they're, it's just just for fun um, okay well that's just a quick presentation of what's what's possible at the moment um, I'm going to be probably adding some more things in the future as well depending on what things we can think up uh, but essentially, all of these services all run through a very simple interface using the OpenBSD INETD pro, um, uh, daemon and BPQ's internal Telnet port. So the application is actually a um, an alias. Uh, you see, you've got these chat, chat, BBS, DX, games, Janos, NASA, plot, etc. Those are uh, aliases for a Telnet port. And they simply open up the Telnet port to the INET daemon, and that provides the service. And that's as simple as it is, really. It's it's fairly simple, but at the end of the day, um, it's just text. So, any ideas? You can probably implement them. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and um, hopefully catch you around on packet. Bye bye.